Hello to all you fantastic and wonderful people. I hope everybody had a great holiday and I'd like to wish you all the best and a very happy new year. My name's Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and in today's video we're going to take a look at this GNCC K1 Pro home security camera. This was sent out to me by GNCC for review purposes, but it does not affect what I'm going to say or what I think about the device. I will be honest, critical, and say if I find any problems with this camera throughout the testing. So let's take a look at it and see how it performs. Inside the box we get a little tiny accessories box, I'm assuming this has the plug socket in. So yeah, it's your generic plug socket with a USB port and some mounting screws in the bottom there. The camera unit itself is mostly made from plastic except for the internals, so the internal components and lenses and stuff. It feels fairly lightweight. It has a uniform matte white finish with a black lens area. We've got the rubber grommet underneath there which should house the reset button and the micro SD card slot. Now this can take up to 128 gigabytes. This is absolutely fine for some backup storage. You've also got a speaker at the back for two-way audio. It even has some little channeling for the cables. Not all cameras in this price range think about these small details. It's nice to see here. The power lead is quite thin, it's just kind of typical USB territory really, but it is pretty long and it should reach an outlet without too much difficulty. If you do struggle, you might need to use an extension and be strategic about where you place the camera. It also has the typical turtle shell on top, which kind of protects it from the elements, and two folding aerials, which are the Wi-Fi receivers. This is a three megapixel camera on the front. We also have the infrared sensor, the light indicator, and spotlights. The build quality in general feels okay, especially for this price range. It's not a premium item, but it's certainly acceptable for this price. You also get a quick start guide, which includes your QR codes, and we also get a little mounting template, which again is another one of those small details that are very helpful, especially when trying to fit the camera in its location. To install the app on your smart device, you'll need to scan the QR code. We'll go through all that in just a second. I'm just going to quickly mount the camera to my test board. When you power it up for the first time, it'll do a little rotation left and right, up and down, and then the red light will start to blink. This means that it's in pairing mode and you can now go ahead and install the application and start the connection process. Okay, so now you want to scan the QR code in the quick start guide or you can just search for the Oseo app in the Google and Apple stores. Then you want to click install and then there'll be a few terms and conditions to agree to and then you'll need to set up an account with your email and password. This is required so you can receive notifications and check your live view at any time. Once you've done this, you want to come into the application and set your connection type. You can choose via Wi-Fi or hotspot. Then you'll need to add your Wi-Fi credentials, so your SSID and password or your Wi-Fi hotspot name and password. Then you'll be sent a QR code which needs scanning by the camera. You'll need to hold this around 6 to 8 inches away from the camera's lens. You should hear a chime when it successfully connects. If it fails for any reason, it will show you this help page, which has a few troubleshooting solutions, in our case, connected successfully. You can now just back out and this will then take you to your live feed. Each time you load up the application, it will show you the last known image. It will then automatically refresh to the latest image. I took this outside to do some night vision tests. I'll put the footage on screen now and we'll go through all the pros and cons with this camera. As you can see, when it's in night vision, it does give you a fairly clear image. Unfortunately, during my testing, it was very windy and very wet. And also another thing to consider is YouTube compression and that I have blown this image up so it fills the screen. The image quality overall is pretty impressive, especially in normal use cases. With the motion tracking, I have found a small issue. I have had it motion tracking and it was working very well. But unfortunately, when I turned off the motion tracking, it didn't want to stop tracking. And when I got it to stop tracking, it doesn't want to come back on now. So the motion tracking does seem to be a little bit glitchy, but you can control it manually with the pan, tilt and zoom. And hopefully it's just software based and that could be fixed with maybe an update in the future. And I'm also doing this on my phone in the rain, which also makes this much more difficult. In general, it's working pretty well. If you activate the floodlight feature, 
it brings the color into the image and it improves the image quality tremendously. I'll activate the floodlights now so you guys can see what it's like in full color at night time too. And do a quick audio test. This is an audio test through the camera. This is the camera speaker. It sounds pretty clear and audible. I'm pretty happy with that. The built-in speaker sounds good. This is just setting it up for the first time. This is its first image that it captured. And as you can see, you can read the writing and make out everything just fine. A little bit of daytime footage here. Unfortunately, this is from behind the glass, which causes a bit of a reflection here from the window. But other than that, you can make out everything as expected. The alert system works well. The notifications are quick and it's all customizable in the settings. You can customize everything from motion detection, audio detection, frequency of notifications, etc. A potential issue for some people though, when it comes to viewing your footage, that's all good and well, but if you require a hard copy, you're gonna either need to have a micro SD card installed, or you're gonna need to subscribe to the Oasio Cloud. I think this is done on purpose to encourage subscriptions to the application, as everything else is free. It's a security company, so they would wanna make money somehow. So I'm assuming that is a way that they do it. You can also get around this by just coming into your videos and getting a live view from your videos. Your footage will be there, but you won't be able to drag and drop that onto a PC, for example. If you required it for evidence or something like that, I would definitely recommend using a micro SD card. Like I said, you can access the footage in your normal video gallery. They do get sent there automatically if you've recorded anything or if the motion or audio has been detected via the sensors. The settings, again, they're basic, but they're pretty good. Got everything here from your LED indicator to your notifications, sharing options, and storage. It also works with Google Home and Amazon Alexa, so that's also pretty useful. And you can also select whether you want it to do the automatic night mode, run in full color, or just black and white. Overall, I've got to say, it's not a bad camera, and at under 40 pounds, it's quite impressive. You might even struggle to beat this. On Amazon, you can buy this right now for $39.99, and it has 514 ratings with a 4.5 star rating, so it's also recommended on Amazon. These are also verified purchases. I did go through and have a little check, and like I said, I've been impressed with this myself, so I will also give this a solid four out of five stars. I would recommend this for indoor offices, maybe small garden areas, patios, little horse stables, garages, etc. I'm not sure I would trust this to secure a business premises, especially with the motion tracking bug that I found. I'm pretty happy for it to do its job in the office or at the back of my house. Guys, if you found any part of this video helpful at all, or just enjoy supporting small creators like me, please go ahead and leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel with your notifications on, that way you never miss any future uploads. Thanks to each and every one of you guys for being here today. All of you have a very happy new year, and until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.